Hello Logic language learners. Um, I've previously recorded this video and for the first time ever the volume didn't work so... Pff. Right, so um, this is a video response to uh, Phil um, Mahoney who wrote in... Let me see if I can bring up his email which was, uh, and this is a really good point because you're all welcome to email in logiclanguagelearning at gmail.com and request a video. And Phil Mahoney, Phil says, Hi Luke, have you done in the past a video on the difference, the different used to combinations using habitué with etre and avoir? If so, can you please tell me where to find it as I've tried to locate it but to no avail. So Phil, um, I'm pretty sure I know what you mean. Um, we don't use habitué with être and avoir um, so much. We use something with that stem. So I will talk about that. So what this means is we are looking at all the different ways of saying used to um, in, 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 in French. So here we go. First things first. When you are talking about used to, make sure that you actually mean used to as in to be familiar with, as opposed to using used to in an auxiliary way which is basically the imperfect tense. So for example, I used to speak French with my grandmother would be je parlais en français avec ma grand-mère. I was speaking. So I used to live there, j'habitais là, is I was living there. So in, I don't want you learning English, I don't want you using English to find your tenses. I prefer the signals and the ideas because we want you to be speaking without using your English. But basically, um, when we learn the imperfect, we say was, were, used to. Okay? So, was, were, or used to. So, uh, she used to play the, pl the piano. Elle jouait du piano. It's just the imperfect. So, be very sure when you're talking about used to that you mean familiar with as opposed to the verb in that tense. Good. The next thing then. So used to as in familiar with. So I'm used to speaking in French means I am familiar with, I am comfortable with, whatever, speaking in French. And this is going to use the verb that Phil refers to, which is habitué. Okay, so silent H, so H-A-B-I-T-U-E-R in the infinitive, habitué, okay? We have similar words like habitual in English or, you know, um, you, you, you will have come across d'habitude, comme d'habitude, like normally in French, okay? So, there's two ways of doing it. The main two ways are to use être plus habitué, the past word used as an adjective, plus preposition à, or avoir l'habitude, the habit de. So, let's talk about the first one. Être habitué à, okay, you're going to have the flexibility of changing which tense être is in. You're going to have the flexibility of whether you make habitué, H-I-B-I-T-U-E with the accent and then have an extra E or an S if it's male or female or plural, etc. Because it's an adjective. So you're not doing anything. You are being used to. And then you must remember that you need the preposition à, which is a bit sneaky, tricky, because I'm used to speaking. You would think the two speak would give you the, inf the, the, the infinitive, would give you the two, but it doesn't. So, I'm used to speaking, je suis habitué à parler. She's used to dancing, elle est habitué à danser. Uh, we're used to doing it, on est habitué à le faire. So, you can still play with your infinitive as much as you want. If you're not used to doing something, then you're just merely going to make it a neg negative adjective. So, je ne suis pas habitué à le faire. I'm not used to doing it. Um, I wasn't used to doing it in those days. Je n'étais pas habitué à le faire. Je n'étais pas, I was not, habitué à le faire. Okay? So, to be used to plus the infinitive. The next one, then, is the, uh, which I think uh, Bill is referring to with habitué using avoir, is the phrase avoir l'habitude de. So similar roots, similar etymology on the habit, yeah, on the, um, which is to have the habit of. Now in English we would say I am in the habit of, yeah. Um, so habit and of is not such a totally weird thing for us to think of. So it's pretty synonymous, okay, pretty synonymous. It means the same thing as the other one. Um, so, I'm used to speaking, 
je suis habitué à parler, ou j'ai l'habitude de parler. So the two key things here to remember are we are using the infinitive avoir, well, we're using the verb avoir, we're then sticking it in the appropriate tense, and the appropriate person, and we are ending with the preposition de, before, like in the other method, still going on to the infinitive. So I'm used to dancing, j'ai l'habitude de danser, I have the habit of dancing, he, he's used to speaking, il a l'habitude de parler, he's ha he has the habit of speaking. We uh, were used to eating, nous avions l'habitude de manger, yeah, we, we, we used to have the habit of, eat, uh, of, uh, of eating. Notice used to for the imperfect rather than being used to. So you would modify the verb have with that one. So let's talk one more thing and then we will stick all of these together and give a nice mixed bag. So if you think the verb habitué, because we've used it as a verb, because we used it as an adjective. So I am used to, je suis habitué. Habitué as a verb is to get used to and it is a reflexive verb here. So s'habituer. Yeah, so je m'habitue, tu t'habitues, il s'habitue, uh, nous nous, uh, nous nous habituons, or on s'habitue, vous vous habituez, il s'habitue, which is the process of getting used to. Although, to be honest, I'm getting used to, yes, we can say I'm getting used to something, but we're often use it in, we will often use it in the past, so reflexive verb in the past, poetry past, no problem. Je me suis habitué, tu t'es habitué, il s'est habitué, nous nous, uh, nous nous sommes habitués, on s'est habitué. Vous vous êtes habitué, ils se sont habitués. Are we going to get used to it? Je vais m'habituer. Tu vas t'habituer, il va s'habituer. Euh, on va s'habituer, nous allons nous habituer. Vous allez vous habituer, ils vont s'habituer. Okay? So, this expression has an A. You are getting used to something. Now, that's not totally new. We've just learned être habitué à. So we, we know that we use the verb habitué with an A preposition. So what's great about this is I'm getting used to it. You can say je, je m'y habitue. You can put the M apostrophe Y for the Y for the to it. Okay. So uh, I got used to it. Je m'y suis habitué. Yeah, I'm putting the Y in the middle of the past. But don't worry about that one too much. But that is just to show you the verb to get used to something. Yeah, I'm going to get used to whatever, speaking French. Je vais m'habituer, je vais m'habituer à parler en français. So let's do a nice mixed bag. When I was 11, I used to speak French with my grandmother. Quand j'avais 11 ans, je parlais français avec ma grand-mère. I'm used to speaking in French. J'ai l'habitude de parler en français, ou je suis habitué à parler en français. Um, uh, uh, I'm, he's used to paying. Il a l'habitude de payer. Il est habitué à payer. He was used to working until midnight. Il était habitué à travailler jusqu'à minuit. Or, il avait l'habitude de travailler jusqu'à minuit. Okay? Are you used to speaking in French? Est-ce que tu es habitué à parler en français? Est-ce que tu as l'habitude de parler en français? So, to recap, we have être, habitué, à, plus infinitive, or avoir, L'habitude, L apostrophe, H-A-B-I-T-U-D-E, the habit, de plus infinitive. Uh, I hope those are useful. I hope that's answered your question. Uh, Phil, please do let me know. And guys, well done to Phil. Kudos to Phil. Any other questions, please do mail in because it gives us something to do in the videos, which is wonderful. Okay, guys, see you soon. If you found this useful, please click like, please subscribe, and please feel free to contact me at logiclanguagelearning at gmail.com. The address will be underneath, or on Facebook, the Logic Language Learning page, or indeed over Skype on Logic Language Learning. I shall speak to you guys very soon.